All right, what's up guys and welcome back. So today is kind of a sad day. Um, I ended up selling the Technoviolet E36 M3. So um, before it leaves, I wanted to make a short video uh, just showing around it and the inside of it and uh, talking about it a little bit. So let's get started. All right, so here it is. This is my 1998 BMW E36 M3. This is a four-door with the five-speed on it. Um, this is original Techno Violet. Uh, hasn't been repainted. This is still original paint. The car has a whopping 261,000 miles, um, but it's been very well maintained. It has the original S52 motor, uh, but the motor was, or the head was removed off of it. Uh, they did a head gasket. Uh, they checked uh, scoring in the cylinder walls to make sure it was still pretty good. Or the etching and they also replaced the lifters while they're in there uh, they did a compression chest test and a uh, dyno test and the numbers still came out good around 230 horsepower so this thing still pulls very strong with the high mileage and uh, if they're taken care of well the mileage really doesn't scare me that much um, the car does have the original contour wheels or i call them soccer balls has 225 45s in the front has 245 50s in the rear uh, coming around to the side, the car is on H&R lowering springs, but it has stock uh, sport shocks. Um, the exhaust is still stock on this, um, so it's pretty heavy. Um, other than that, um, coming around, um, the subframe was removed and replaced with all AKG polyurethane bushings. Um, it has upgraded strut bars in the front and the rear. Um, let's see. The engine is still pretty stock. Um, besides the, the engine work that was done to it, it does have a dyna and strut bar, a uh, brand new radiator, and um, a metal uh, wall burrow uh, impeller water pump. Moving to the inside, it's probably one of my favorite parts of the car. It is original all black interior, no rips or anything in the seats. Everything is just really nice. The leather is still soft. Um, uh, the inside, uh, the shift boot was changed. It looks like also the shift knob. It was, it looks like a, you know, knockoff ZHP knob or something like that. We did replace the CD, um, or the radio in this car. There's another video on that. This uh, now has a Continental CD and Bluetooth radio. Um, the heated seats do still work. It has, uh, the stock Harman Kardon system. And, uh, what's kind of cool about this car is um he added a plx gauge to it uh so you can see the exact coolant temperature of the car um a lot of times with these uh bmws you know it just has the the needle and uh, you don't really know the exact uh, temperature so he installed a digital a plx gauge let's see if he'll show it okay so it's showing it at 109 degrees right now for the water temperature but that incorporates really nicely into the E36 dash, so that's kind of a cool touch. The rear is just like the front, um, all original door cards, really nice condition. The seats are all really nice. It has the M stripes and the headrest, which was an option. But all in all, it's just a really nice clean car, and it's been a pleasure to drive. So there it is. That's it. It's a pretty stock, clean model car. It's been a lot of fun since I owned it. Um, I'm sad to see it leave because it is a Techno Violet car and I'll probably not end up owning another one. Um, but I'm using the money right now to fund the shop um, and also, you know, building the house and everything like that. So 
uh, some things you just can't hold on to and you can't collect them all, you know? So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please subscribe. And uh, there's a lot more videos coming. I'm gonna have some uh, install videos of the, uh, of the lift and uh, you know more videos of just moving into the shop and different things going on. So uh, thanks again and uh, see you next time.